the purple cobble butterfly is only situated here in the central tablelands between Lithgow, Oberon and Bathurst. Uh, only above 900 metres in elevation and you only find it on a specific uh, bush called the native blackthorn and it's only a specific subspecies of that particular uh, native plant. It requires not only the bush to live on but the caterpillar state of the butterfly requires a specific species of ant to help basically herd it up and down the bush from the ground. The ants actually receive um, a secretion sugary substance from, from the caterpillars which then feeds the ants. So it's a very symbiotic relationship between the ant, the butterfly and the caterpillar and the bush itself, the native blackthorn. Some of the activities that we funded over the last three years have included planting the Berseria plant in some of the known locations where the butterfly uh, is known to occur. Um, we've done a lot of weed controls, things like blackberry, serrated tussock and those kind of species that would compete for space with the, with the native blackthorn. We've also been doing a lot of uh, monitoring across those sites as well and we've been using those monitoring of those sites as a means to give us a bit of a base data set for what populations are at sites for a experimental burn program that we've just only completed in, in the last couple of weeks. So last year we invited the, the Meadowflat Public School to come out and have a look, mainly because they've got a really great history with national parks, with Ray Madwich and also uh, producing the book uh, that was produced back in 2013 and was actually mentioned um, in New South Wales State Parliament at a particular session. So something that really got a good a good coverage and we wanted to try and get the kids out to actually come and see the butterflies out in the flesh. So last year we took them out to the site, we put on a barbecue, fed the kids and let them have a real good look around and see the butterflies in flight and see them fluttering around in their natural habitat. Get to know a little bit more about the ecology and the biodiversity of the local area and also just getting them to learn a little bit more about the butterfly and tie it into what they're trying to do at the school. We've had a really deep focus in the last 12 months on sustainability within the area and bringing science into the classrooms and doing a lot of practical activities. Meadow Flat's been involved with this program with the Purple Copper Butterfly for many years and written a book um, about five or six years ago. The students here, so they have a unique tie with it. Uh, so we went out and spent a day with the land care team and did a butterfly audit where the students were able to go around and locate and try and count how many butterflies they could see. Uh, they were taught about um, the biodiversity of the area, the specific plant that it needed to um, use for its habitat. The students had a wonderful day out there. They learned about a lot of different kinds of animals in the area and learned a lot about their local environment and how they can improve and protect species in the area.